Good morning class. Today I'm the teacher who gives you the right idea and knowledge about automotive brake system. Call me Sir Oliver, your best friend, teacher, and partner in learning. Okay class, let's have some brain twister for our morning routine or motivation. Please take a look on the jumbled words that is flashed on the board. Each word have corresponding points when you got the right answer from complex to the easiest. My class, please your, raise your right hand if you got the answer. Yes, Mr. Uzaita. Break lines. Correct. You got 10 points for that. Next. Oh, yes, Mr. Cleofe. Drum breaks. Yes, you got the right answer. 10 points for you, Mr. Cleofe. Next. Yes, Mr. De Los Reyes. Disc breaks. This break is correct. You got 10 points, Mr. De Los Reyes. Next. Mr. Makalinga. Master Cylinder. Correct. You got 12 points, Mr. Makalinga. Next. Oh, yes. Mr. De Torres. Brake Pads. Correct. You got 10 points also, Mr. De Torres. Next. Mr. Royo. Pedal. Yes. Correct. You got 8 points, Mr. Royo. And last. Yes, Mr. Sedera. Rotor. Very good. You got 8 points also, Mr. Asadera. Well done, class. All of you got the right answer. Now, let's go to our objectives. Anyone in the class who can read the objectives? Oh yes, Mr. De Torres. At the end of the lesson, the students should able to identify and memorize the different types and parts of brake system. Learn the importance and purpose of brake system and Perform basic process of bleeding a brake system. Thank you, Mr. De Torres. So, obviously, our topic for today is all about... Anyone who can guess? Correct. Brake system. Plus, let me read first the meaning of brake system. A brake system is designed to slow and halt the motion of the vehicle. To do this, various components within the brake system must convert vehicles moving energy into heat. This is done by using friction. Friction is the resistance to movement exerted by two objects on each other. Okay, anyone in the class who, who wants to read the function of brake system? Yes, Mr. Asadera. A brake is a mechanical device that inhibits motion by absorbing energy from a moving system. It is used for slowing or stopping a moving vehicle, wheel, axle or to prevent its motion, most often accomplished by means of friction. Very good. Who would like to read the main parts of brake system? Yes, Mr. Royo. The different parts of brake system are brake pedal, brake master cylinder, brake lines, rotors, drums, wheel cylinders, and brake pads. Very good, Mr. Royo. Okay, let us go to the function of parts of brake system. First part of brake system is brake pedal. The brake pedal is what you push with your foot to activate the brakes. It causes brake fluid to flow through the system to put pressure on the brake pads. Next is brake master cylinder. The master cylinder is basically a plunger that is activated by the brake pedal. It is what holds the brake fluid and forces it through the brake lines when activated. The third part is brake lines, generally made of steel. Brake lines are what carry the brake fluid from the master cylinder reservoir to the wheels where pressure is applied to stop the car. Next part is rotors or drums. Your car either has rotors from these brakes or drums for drum brakes. This is what the brake pads rub against to create the friction to stop your car. Next part is wheel cylinder. The brake pads are connected to the wheel cylinder which either squeeze the disc brakes or push apart for drum brakes the, the, the brake pads when fluid flows into them. Last part is the brake pads. The brake pads are what actually rub against the drums or rotors. 
they are made of composite materials and designed to last for many, many thousands of miles. However, if you ever hear a grinding or howling noise when you try to stop your car, it likely means it is mean it's time for new brake pads. Class, take a look on the picture that I posted. Those pictures are presenting the two types of brake and their parts. Class, may I ask one of you who would give the difference between drum brake and disc brake? Yes, Mr. Makalinga. Literally, a drum brake is a small round drum that has a set of shoes inside of it. The drum brake will rotate alongside the wheel and when the brake pedal is applied, the shoes are forced against the sides of the drum and the wheel is slowed. A disc brake has a disc-shaped metal rotor spinning within a wheel. Very good, Mr. Makalinga. In the basic words, we can classify disc brakes as a type of vehicle brake employing the friction of pads against the disc which is attached to the wheel. And drum brake is a type of vehicle brake in which brake shoes press against the inside of drum on the wheel. Now, I will discuss the importance of having a brake system and its purpose. Is there anyone... Who can read the paragraph and I will explain it after you read? Anyone? Yes, Mr. Royo. Your vehicle's braking system is by far the most important safety feature. It has the ability to stop or slow down at a split second significantly helps to stop incidents and accidents. Therefore, keeping them well maintained will make the difference between encountering a huge accident or even a potential tragedy. Okay, thank you. Please be sit down, Mr. Royo. It said that having a brake system will help us to reduce accidents and provide us safety. The friction of your tires against the road is what slows down and stops your car. The brakes are what responsible for stopping the wheels from spinning. Its job of the brake pads and brake discs to create the resistance needed to cause this action and each time your vehicle brakes, the discs begin to wear. Did you understand class? Okay, good. Is there any question about our topic today class? Please raise your right hand if you have. Anyone? Okay. okay, it seems that you understand our topic. Be sure that you understand our topic today class because tomorrow I will give you a quiz about this topic. Is that clear? Okay, now let's have some short review of our discussion for today. What are the main parts of components of brake systems? Yes, Mr. Uzaita. The main parts of brake system are brake pedal, brake master cylinder, brake lines, rotors, drums, wheel cylinders, and brake pads. Very good. Next, what are the two types of brakes? Yes, Mr. Cleofe. The two types of brakes are disc brakes and drum brakes. Very good, Mr. Cleofe. Next, what is the purpose or function of brake in the vehicle? Yes, Mr. Asidera. It is used for slowing of stopping a moving vehicle, wheel, axle, or to prevent it motion, most often accomplished by means of friction. Very well said, Mr. Asidera. Okay, class. For today's, for today's activity, get a whole sheet of band paper and write down the parts and function of a brake system. You will be graded by using this rubric. You will get 20 points if you write down all parts and function on the right time. You will get 18 points if you write down all parts and function 10 minutes after the time. And... You, you will get 15 points if you write down all parts and facts soon, but late. My class, thank you. Again, I am your teacher for today. Call me Sir Oliver, your best friend, teacher, and partner in learning. Goodbye, class. Thank you.